The Young and the Restless Spoilers Friday's Weekly Update Full In the ever-turbulent world of Genoa City, change was the only constant. Relationships shifted, alliances formed and crumbled, and the delicate balance of emotions was always at risk of tipping over. For Billy Abbott, this was a time of transition, a time to let go of the past and embrace whatever the future had in store for him. His breakup with Chelsea had been inevitable, a necessary step for both of them to move forward with their lives. But now that it was behind him, Billy found himself at a crossroads, torn between two potential paths, a new relationship with Sally Spectra or rekindling the flame with Lily Winters. Billy had always been a man driven by passion, his heart leading him into both triumphs and disasters. His time with Chelsea had been meaningful, but it was clear that their relationship had run its course. There was no bitterness, no lingering regret, only a sense of closure that allowed him to look ahead with clarity. Chelsea, too, seemed to have found peace in the aftermath of their separation, focusing on what mattered most, their son, Connor. Connor, for his part, was thriving. The young boy had been through more than most children his age, but he was finally finding stability. Adam and Chelsea, despite their own complicated history, had come together to prioritize their son's well-being. They were committed to being responsible, loving parents, and for the first time in a long while, Connor felt truly cared for. He could see that his parents were making the right decisions, and it brought him a sense of happiness and security that he had been longing for. But while Connor's world was beginning to stabilize, Billy's was anything but. With his heart now unburdened by the past, he was ready to explore new possibilities. Sally Spectra was a whirlwind of energy and ambition, someone who could match Billy's own drive and intensity. There was an undeniable chemistry between them, a spark that had been hard to ignore. But then there was Lily Winters, a woman who had seen Billy at his worst and had still stood by him. Their history was complex, filled with both love and pain, but the connection between them remained strong. As Billy weighed his options, he found himself facing a new set of challenges. Victor Newman, never one to miss an opportunity to assert his dominance, had set his sights on Billy once again. Alongside him was Adam, who had his own reasons for wanting to see Billy brought down. The two men were relentless, their attacks on Billy becoming more intense with each passing day. It was a battle on multiple fronts, one that would test Billy's resolve and force him to confront the demons that had haunted him for years. Billy knew that he couldn't afford to be distracted, not now. Whether he chose Sally or Lily, or even if he chose to remain on his own for a while longer, he needed to be at the top of his game. The pressure was immense, but Billy had always thrived under pressure. The question was, would it be enough to see him through the storm that was coming? While Billy wrestled with his decisions, another storm was brewing in the Newman household. Mariah and Faith had always been close to their mother, Sharon, but lately, they had noticed changes in her behavior that were impossible to ignore. Sharon had always been strong, resilient in the face of adversity, but there was something off about her now, something that worried her daughters deeply. It started with the small things, moments of forgetfulness, unexplained mood swings, and a growing sense of detachment. But the most alarming sign came when Mariah stumbled upon a bottle of medication in Sharon's bathroom. The bottle was still full, its contents untouched. Mariah's heart sank as she realized what this meant, her mother had stopped taking her medication. Confronting Sharon was not easy. Mariah and Faith loved their mother dearly, but they knew they couldn't ignore what was happening. One evening, they sat Sharon down, their concern evident in their eyes. Mom, Mariah began gently, we've noticed some things, you've been acting differently lately. And we found your medication. It doesn't look like you've been taking it. Sharon looked at her daughters, her expression a mix of defensiveness and guilt. I'm fine, she insisted, though her voice lacked conviction. I stopped taking the medication because I feel better now. I don't need it anymore. But Mariah and Faith weren't convinced. They had seen too much, knew too well the signs of someone struggling. Sharon's refusal to take her medication was a red flag, one that couldn't be ignored. Mom, we're worried about you, Faith said softly. Just because you feel better now doesn't mean you should stop taking your meds. You need to talk to your doctor, make sure it's safe. Sharon's eyes flashed with frustration. I know my own body, she snapped, though there was a hint of desperation in her tone. In the intricate web of relationships and power struggles that define Genoa City, few conflicts are as emotionally charged as the ongoing battle for custody of young Harrison. 
At the center of this storm is Summer Newman, a mother fiercely protective of her son, and Kyle Abbott, a father torn between his past and his future. Their relationship, once built on love and trust, has now devolved into a bitter war, with Harrison caught in the crossfire. Summer had always been a strong-willed woman, but the recent events had pushed her to her limits. Her marriage to Kyle had been strained ever since Audra Charles entered the picture. Summer was convinced that Audra, with her cunning and manipulative ways, had poisoned Kyle's mind, turning him against her. The once loving and supportive husband she knew had become someone she barely recognized, determined, ruthless, and unyielding in his desire to defeat her in court. The upcoming custody battle was not just about who would have primary custody of Harrison, it was about much more than that. For Summer, it was about protecting her son from what she saw as a dangerous influence. She had made it clear to Kyle that Harrison was not to be anywhere near Audra, whom she described as a, a toxic virus that was corrupting her family. The very thought of Harrison being exposed to Audra's influence filled her with dread. Kyle, you have to see what she's doing, Summer had pleaded with him in one of their many arguments. Audra is manipulating you, using you to get what she wants. And now you're letting her come between us and our son. Harrison can't be around her, it's not safe for him. But Kyle wasn't having any of it. He had grown tired of what he saw as Summer's baseless accusations and paranoia. You're being ridiculous, Summer, he snapped back. Audra isn't some evil mastermind trying to ruin our lives. She's helped me see things clearly, things I should have seen a long time ago. You're just looking for excuses to keep Harrison away from me, and it's pathetic. The words stung, cutting deeper than Summer had anticipated. She had expected resistance from Kyle, but his dismissive attitude only confirmed her worst fears. Kyle was no longer the man she had fallen in love with, he was someone else entirely, and that someone else was ready to fight her in court without a second thought. The upcoming court battle loomed large in their minds, a confrontation that would determine not only where Harrison would live but also the future of their fractured family. Summer knew that no matter the outcome, the real victim in all of this would be Harrison. He was too young to understand the complexities of adult relationships, too innocent to grasp why his parents were fighting so bitterly over him. Whether he ended up with her or with Kyle, Harrison would be the one to suffer the most from this relentless tug-of-war. While Summer and Kyle braced themselves for the legal battle ahead, another Newman was quietly making his own moves in the background. Adam Newman, the once estranged son of Victor, had been carving out a new path for himself, a path that Nikki, of all people, had begun to notice and appreciate. Nikki had never been one to trust Adam easily. His history of manipulations, betrayals, and destructive behavior had left a deep scar on the Newman family. But something had changed in Adam over the past year. He was no longer the outcast, the perpetual black sheep of the Newman clan. Instead, Adam had been working tirelessly to rebuild his relationships with his family, especially with Victor and Nikki. For years, Adam had viewed the Newman family as his enemies, convinced that they would never truly accept him. But time had softened those hard edges, and Adam had come to realize that what he truly wanted was not power or revenge, but acceptance and belonging. Slowly but surely, he had started to prove himself, first to his father, and then to the rest of the family. He had taken on responsibilities at Newman Enterprises, made amends where he could, and most importantly, he had begun to see the Newman name not as a curse, but as a legacy worth preserving. Nikki, always perceptive, had noticed these changes in Adam. At first, she was skeptical, suspecting that his newfound dedication was just another one of his schemes. But as time passed, she saw the sincerity in his actions. Adam was different now, more mature, more focused, and less consumed by the need to prove himself through destructive means. Victor, I think Adam's really changed, Nikki had confided in her husband one evening. He's not the same man he used to be. He's trying so hard to fit in, to be part of this family. I believe he can actually defeat Billy this time, not just because he's capable, but because he's doing it for the right reasons.